business process or administration, currency, enter your currency. Press enter, you get the warning message, that's fine, press enter again and save it. We have successfully created a cost center. Now for this cost center, when we issue the stock, the value of the transaction has to be updated in the GL account, so I need to activate the GL account as the default cost element for this cost center. So go to the transaction code KA01. The standard cost element for raw material consumption is 400000. Enter. And in the cost element category field, select option 1 and save it. Done. Now I need to issue this stock. So first let's check how much is the stock available. So from this total location, I'm going to issue 15 stock. So let's see how to issue. Again, go back to Miko. Select goods issue. Other moment type will be 201. Enter the material number. Enter the quantity that you are going to issue. Specify the plant and the storage location. And stock issue can only happen against the unrestricted stock. You cannot issue any other stock type. Enter the cost center, which is YVG underscore admin. Remember, it is just created. If that is not the same one, just press F4 and search for the code. I will show you the code. Press enter. Item OK is already checked. Click on check. Then if you get this error, it's a FI integration error. Just give me one minute. Now click on check. Okay. So I need to exit because I have not yet I had activated when the screen was still active. So I need to go back and click on make the increase now. The reason it gave me an error was because the Controlling area was activated, the cost centers were activated when the screen was still active. So the system did not recognize this particular transaction, did not recognize this cost center as created. If you can't check, no errors, trust it. Once the document is posted, and you look at the stock, stock will be immediately updated. So in this way, you can issue the stock for any purpose provided that purpose is already created in the system. Okay. Next one, let's see how to do the reservation process. Reservation is the process wherein you're going to keep aside certain stock of the material for a specific purpose, like the cost center. So for that, we need to first create a reservation document. So we go to the transaction code and 21 base date specifies the date on from which the stock will be reserved specify the moment type used for issuing the stock for that purpose
enter the plant where you're going to do the reservation. You get these warning messages, keep pressing enter until you see this. Enter the call center code, material number, the quantity you want to reserve. Press enter. And if you want this stock to be reserved against a specific store location, enter the store location code. If not, just leave it blank. Once the material is grayed out, double click on it and check quantity is fixed and movement allowed to ensure you can start issuing the quantity against this reservation. Click on save, and this is the document number. If you want to make changes, you go to MB22, enter the document number, and make the necessary changes. If you don't want to issue, then you can uncheck movement allowed. Okay. In order to issue the stock, movement allowed checkbox has to be checked. Now you go to Migo and select goods issue against reservation before i issue the stock when i look at the stock overview the quantity reserved will not be deducted from the unrestricted stock rather it will show against the total planned stock as a result okay the reason for this is even this 10 quantity which we reserve is from the unrestricted stock itself so above the total unrestricted stock this new stock is reserved okay but when you issue the stock, that is when the stock will be removed. So let's check the document number. Go back to Nico. Enter the document number. Moment type. Specify the moment type as in the document. Press enter and it will show me the quantity. Specify the quantity that you're going to issue right now. So I'm only going to issue five. I want to issue the complete quantity. And just leave it on. Specify now the story location from where you're going to issue the stock. Item OK. Check. No errors. Post it. Yeah. It's as simple as that. You can even do a partial issue or the complete issue at the same time. Because the complete stock is issued, the reserve column will not have any more stock, right? And the stock will be automatically deducted. So in this way, you can issue the stock for any purpose, reserve and issue the stock for any purpose using the relevant movement type, okay? The next one is an important process called physical inventory. Now every company will carry out their own process of stock checking or stock taking, which is called as physical inventory. One of the commonly followed processes is what I'm going to show you, in which we first create the physical inventory document in which you have to specify the stock, the material which you're going to check or uh, the stock on a specific date at a specific plant and store location. Then you give the printout, you give it to the people who do the physical check, then enter that check to count a quantity into the physical document in the system. You create a difference list. If there is no difference or the difference is within the tolerance limit, since some of the material will have certain tolerance limit, if the difference is within the tolerance limit, then you update the difference and close the process. However, if the difference is outside the tolerance limit, then you carry out a recount process to ensure that the people who counted the quantity have taken every possible location in which the material may be maintained in that store location. So during the recount process, you create a recon physical inventory document which will include those items only with whose differences outside the tolerance limit from the original document. You print the document, give it to the people doing the physical count. Then you once they have counted it, you enter that physical count into the document, create the difference list. Now, if there is no difference or if the difference is within the tolerance limit, again, you update it and close the process. Or if the difference is still outside the tolerance limit, usually a physical investigation is carried out to understand why the difference, why there is a huge difference. So let's see how to carry out this process. I'm going to take three material, let's say, 
and this plant 42 43 and 44 right so 42 okay it's my stock 43 my stock 44 also there is no stock okay what we'll do is we'll receive the stock will maintain the stock without reference to purchase order. So you go to goods receipt, other moment type is 501, 